Did you know that you can follow yourself or to check the stop button? Well today, I'll show you 6 hidden scratch hacks. This script generates lots of particles and makes them float around, but they don't really interact with each other. If only you could detect when a clone is touching another clone. Well we can. All you have to do is go to another sprite, get the block we want, and drag into this sprite. Now the particles can interact with each other. Here's how to detect special keys on scratch. Normally you'd be limited to letters and arrow keys, but not with this trick. Just place a join block and put in the key you want to detect. For example, putting in enter will let the script detect the enter key. This trick does have some limitations however, like how I can't detect the shift, alt, or control keys along with a few others. But this is still a really really useful trick. Scratch doesn't have a built in way to detect the stop button, but here's a workaround. First, make a variable to keep track of the timer. Next, drag in a one timer of larger than block and set the other field to the variable. Let's do one more check to see if the timer is really larger than our variable. Finally, we'll end the script when it finishes, and we can put whatever code we want in here. And as you can see, it works great. Did you know that you can actually remix your own projects or even follow yourself? Well, here's how to do it. First, go to your profile on the alt account and then open a new tab and sign out. Then, sign into the account that you wish to follow yourself with, and then go back to the first tab and hit follow. Refresh the page, and now it should say that you are following yourself. And you can just repeat these steps for remixing your own projects too. Here's an easy love and fave detector. First, we'll need some costumes for this detector. You can pause this video here to copy, or you can get the costumes with the link in the description. Now it's time for the code. Let's reset the script when the green flag is clicked. And in this forever block, switch the costume to the heart detector and see if the mouse is touching it. And if it is, wait 0.1 seconds and see if it's still being touched by the mouse, in which case we'll set loved to 1. And let's duplicate it for the fave detector too. And finally, if both loved and faved are equal to 1, we'll set the loved and faved variable to 1 as well. And as you can see, it works great. Do you ever want to know just how many blocks are in a project? Well, here's an easy trick to find out. Simply go into a sprite and then right click. Here, it will show you exactly how many blocks are in the sprite. Sadly, it won't show the total amount of blocks of the entire project, but you can just go to the sprites with more code and add them together for a rough estimate. So that wraps up this video. Want to learn how to go viral or see even more Scratch X? Well, these two videos are perfect for you. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.